Lost Ember is my new chill out game. This is a wonderful game that I've been looking forward to for quite some time. And you know what? It doesn't disappoint. It is exactly what I wanted it to be. You play as this wolf. And then you can become other animals. And it is so, so satisfying to play. It isn't just, hey, you get to explore the world, a very beautiful world, mind you, uh, as animals. Um, there is a story here, and um, I haven't finished the game, so I, I cannot say where the story goes. Um, but it's it's not a light-hearted story, there is a lot of deep, meaningful stuff going on, uh, which I won't spoil for you, I think it's, it's worth checking out. Um, but the game itself is really, really just wonderful to play. Like, look, we're a little armadillo. Um, I believe it's an armadillo, it's a breed of armadillo. Um, and yeah, we can dig around with this armadillo, and there's a couple of, like, things we can do with that, and that's, that, that adds to the game. There's, uh, there's also a lot of secrets, uh, to be found. There are 78 relics throughout the world, uh, throughout its many chapters. I've, I'm on chapter 4 right now, I think there might be somewhere near 10 chapters. There's quite a lot in this. Um, uh, and there's also uh, multiple species of mushroom uh, that you need to try and find. Um, and yeah, within that, I think there's over a hundred. So there's near 200 items to find in this world, um, which will keep you replaying. But I just want to replay because I get to be different animals and it's wonderful. Like, this section, I just wanted to highlight a couple of sections which really just made me smile, you know? And like this, this is, this is wonderful. Well, with like some sort of wombat, I guess. Um, I, I'm not up to date with my animals. I apologise. Um, but I look at this. It's so cute. It's so adorable. You get to roll down a hill, and it's amazing. Like, how could you not love this? It is just absolutely spectacular. And then before you die, uh, you change to a hummingbird. Okay, that wombat probably fell off the cliff. Um, you sort of control their spirit, but once you leave, they get control back, so that combat is definitely dead. Uh, but yeah, like, this section is really cool, like, it goes to slow motion, and you have to sort of dodge things in slow motion, and it's pretty neat. Like, that's really cool, and I'm, I'm a duck amongst other ducks, and it's rad, and I can go through them, and then I can be a fish! Like, that's super cool! Like, that's super, super cool! And it, they all feel really good to control. They all feel very different, but very good, and I don't really know what that red stuff is. I think it was a glitch with my little British orb friend who seems to be following me. Um, uh, but yeah, it disappeared after I went out of the water. But you can jump out the water, like, and it just... The animations are lovely, and it feels great to play, and it's just... It's just a spectacular game. Um, it's currently, I believe, £26. Um, uh, on Steam and also PS4. Um, so, yeah, if this is your kind of thing, uh, definitely check it out. It's a very soothing game. It's really satisfying. Um, I, I'm really enjoying just just roaming the world and, and being different animals. Just doing nothing, you know? Just because... I want a game to chill out when I've had a long day, you know, or I've had a hard day. This is this is my chill game now, and it's it's an honour that I actually get a kind of game like that. That's really nice. You get to hold X to jump, and wow, it's so cool! Look at that. I'm actually going to show you uh, one of the collectibles um, that you can get um, in a second. Um, there's this sort of like sewer area uh, or like waterway, um, and in there. There is a strange pipe, which is obviously, it's a me, it's a reference to Mario. Um, and there are actually other references. There's a reference to Zelda, there's a reference to Pokemon, there's a reference to Journey, there's a reference to Viva Pinata, which is awesome. Uh, in terms of death, you can't really die if you go off the cliff, like it spawns you back. Here, I sort of went past the fog and uh, kind of glitched the game a lot, so I figured I'd show that. This game is not about its glitches. I did something like this. There may be more of the instances like this where you can break out of bounds. Um, that's obviously not ideal, but it happens, you know. Uh, with a game as versatile as this, with the amount of character, like it's, you can switch back to the wolf whenever I suspect. At times they're like, hey, you should switch to the wolf, and then you just don't, and you can do stuff like this. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show this because it was funny. Uh, but yeah, the game does stutter every so often. It's not common, uh, but it does happen. Um, but I suspect that's something they'll fix in a patch. Um, and yeah, I went through the wall. I was, I was just like, I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. It was at this moment I definitely knew I was not supposed to be here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm a. Uh, I, it, it just, my journey just kept getting sort of worse, I guess, uh, as the walls started to become real and the progression started to sort of dwindle um, until I just fell below endlessly in the white void, um, which was pretty great. Uh, but what was funny is uh, something that's going to come up in a, in a second. Because I had been flying for so long uh, below the world, I guess, uh, the game gave me a trophy. So <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, as I say, it's just a really chill game. It's really sweet. Uh, if this is your kind of game, definitely pick it up. But if not, well, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.